do you think everybody can win i know this is a very philosophical tangent here but do you think everybody can win um in a way yes but at the same way there will always be competition i guess like sure yeah so even if there are like two best vfx artists or animators there will be competition between them so that can never like you know be stopped so sure. otherwise every yeah everyone can win you know they can really become really good animators or really good artists anyone can but right. like you said uh, you know it's an indian mentality to step over someone and to you know in order to yourself yeah so i yeah. feel that is still i feel that is still there it's there mm. at least to some degree it is there uh, a lot of people might even say oh it's not there bro what you saying bro i'm like nah man it's the truth hey arya how's it going uh how oh, it's going well i'm doing fine how are you i'm doing good i'm doing good thank you uh before we get started if you want to let the people know who you are what you do any likes and dislikes or hobbies in personal life future aspirations anything and everything you're comfortable sharing about yourself okay so hello my name is arya and uh, i am a graphic designer and uh, i'm an artist also uh, i love to sketch uh, i love to uh uh make milk shakes i don't know what i'm saying i'm really sorry <laughs> no 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 it's okay. all good it's all good <laughs> so i love to draw and uh, i love to sketch i love to write i don't know sometimes short stories and uh, funny lines haikus you can say and mm. uh, i love making milk shakes as i said and uh, those are my likes and what i do as uh, you know daily i work as a graphic designer uh and uh, uh that's a gist of what yeah what else Pretty please much. ask me step in yeah. uh, any future aspirations like what do you see yourself wanting to do in the future um i uh imagine myself joining uh, an animation studio like you know i really want to actually sketch and animate stuff i want to learn animation and uh, i i wouldn't really want to continue the graphic design thing itself like for for the full rest of my life i really want to just keep drawing and sketching like i want to focus on that I want to focus on art more so right. in future so in future i want to do that you know get into animation and actually that's what we and that's what actually we're doing i have uh, join my friend's company as a background designer he recruited me because uh, not to boast if in case he sees this <laughs> not to <laughs> boast but he likes my style and that's why he recruited me as a background designer so that's awesome. in case yeah so uh, if his company gets exta- uh, you know established very well once it gets established everything is done i am just going to quit this and just go join him full time so that uh, mm. it's like full freedom for me there i can you know try to do whatever i want to so like express yeah, your creativity it. to the fullest in a way exactly 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 awesome 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 talk to me about the milkshakes what's your go to milkshake <laughs> <laughs> oh it's uh, it basically i don't have a go to milkshake but okay. that's the only thing i can well if, when it comes to cooking that's the only thing i like to do gotcha okay <laughs> i and plus that's the only thing i can do really good like okay. anything if you, any milkshake you ask me some fruit uh-huh. milkshake i just put some fruit there put milk and do it it turns out very good and that's i figured out that's the only thing i can actually like cook you know which is really good because i really don't know how to cook to be honest mm. Uh, mm. my mom my mom cooks everything the only mm. thing i know to do is just chop the uh, tomatoes and onions very you know hmm. i slice it very that's thin. a start that's a start yeah <laughs> yeah so she loves the way i chop my vegetables she's like nice. you know uh, very proud of it so that's that's the only thing i can do and that that's and the rest she does it cooking and all that so that's it gotcha 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 so it's usually like fruit milk shakes um yeah 
that you throw and sort of make if, yeah if there's any like biscuit oreo biscuit or something throw a oreo biscuit also and make that also a milkshake okay basically okay, okay, okay. basically the idea like when i started doing that is uh, you know since uh, i joined hostel you know the hostel life like usually when i started so all this started when i was uh, in school so whenever i used to come back to, to holidays you know uh, mom wasn't there when she was working so the only thing that would be available to me most of the time is milk and the mixie jar like most of the time uh, mom didn't used to cook that much you know and she was working during holidays and even i didn't want to burden her or something so i just wanted to try some new stuff i was like uh, okay fine let's put milk and let's put this uh, oreo cream biscuit let's see what happens and then from there i started like doing all kinds of fruits and everything since then whenever nobody is at home i just go and if i don't have anything to eat i just make milk shake and drink it. that's it nice uh is there a favorite milk combination of milk shake that i think that you thought initially not maybe okay those are two questions let me separate that first question okay, okay is there a favorite that you would make if you had everything every time <laughs> okay um so there is uh, one combination me and my friend tried once uh, this was uh, basically after our uh, 12th uh, pu 12 pu uh, second pu board uh-huh. exams and after 12th uh, grade, yeah yeah so uh, we tried this app we tried apple pear and bonvita ha huh. okay. okay bonvita for those of them who don't know is like a powdered powder that you would put uh-huh. into milk yeah yeah So I'll find a better definition mix, and put it up but yeah. <laughs> okay. So we mix those three and uh, that was actually a really good combination. Whenever I can, whenever I'm free or whenever there's pears and apples available, I do it. But since you know this yeah. But since you know uh, bone vita is considered not a healthy drink now, so I left right. chuck bone vita out of the thing. It's just apple and pear. Mm. So, huh. is that like a combination that before you made you were kind of like uh you weren't sure about it or was there any combinations that you made that you were like i don't know if this is going to taste good but then it actually turned out nice yeah yep exactly i first didn't have any idea if it would turn out good or bad like i was very skeptical but yeah. then we tried it i'm like wow man wow what a discovery bro <laughs> right right It's like you've opened a new portal into this world of milkshakes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It was so good. <laughs> nice. And yeah, that's it. Nice. Nice. Did you try making it with Boost or Horlicks? <laughs> no, bro. It it won't it I knew when it, if with Bon Vita, I know how it would have tasted with Horlicks and Boost. So I was like, no need. It's fine. Apple mm. and pear is fine. Mm mm mm. So you're you're more of a Bon Vita guy. Would did you always drink Bon Vita or did you dabble between Horlicks and Boost? Uh, I guess I tried Boost also for some time, but then I just got stuck to Bon Vita. Yeah. Uh, again, just to lay context for people who might not know what this stuff is, uh, they're all uh-huh. powders that we would add to milk as kids and drink. Um, Boost and Bon Vita were more chocolate flavors, and like Horlicks had. Um, I don't, I don't know if it really had a flavor of its own. I mean, they did have like a chocolate Horlicks, but I remember tasting chocolate Horlicks and it sucked. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Bon Vita. I was a big fan of Bon Vita too. My parents would yell at me because I would often go and like just eat Bon Vita out of the jar. Same. I would do the same. It's, yeah, it's good. Do the it's, same thing. it's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'd get yelled at for doing that, but that's that's what those things are. Um, but yeah. no, apple pear and bone vita, huh? Hmm. Yeah, it's and, like a combination you wouldn't think of. Go ahead. Exactly, and the most interesting part about that thing is uh, uh, that day when we were doing the the milkshake thing, for some reason, uh, I was like, uh, we have to pull, like make a video of this, yeah, like do a review and post it on YouTube, and. I didn't post it on YouTube that day. I posted it like last, I don't know, two years ago. I guess it's there on my YouTube channel. So that's it. Do you want me to link it to this episode? <laughs> oh please, please! I want everybody to see it. 
<laughs> okay, okay. Please do that. I mean, it's not like this is a huge following either, but I'm sure some people who watch this might check it out. And yeah, uh, if on, you please. if you do end you... up watching it, yeah, yeah go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Come on, people will watch it, bro. Trust me, you will get more followers. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not worried, but thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. So let's mm. talking more about art and stuff. Like, was it something that you naturally were inclined to as a child, or was it something that you saw develop over time as you grew older, or as no. you grew older? Uh, yeah, art was for me as even my mom keeps telling me. I got it naturally, and. Uh, from from a small age itself i always used to you know draw anime characters like you know dragon ball ben 10 dragon ball was all, all, always there uh, dragon ball ben 10 and i used to you know like usual uh, you copy stuff which is there and just put it on paper i used to do that a lot so yeah i've been drawing since i was a kid itself so i was into that more and obviously when i got introduced to you know Uh, robots and transformers i'm a huge transformers fan i guess even you know that by now uh, so uh, i used to draw a lot of them design mm-hmm. in i don't know like a 13 i was like a 13 year old in eighth standard uh, mm-hmm. i used to like design my own uh, transformers and keep a book for it you know like different different transformers so i used to do that a, a lot and then um, like yeah it's basically it came naturally for me i didn't like do it develop it or anything it just came naturally awesome uh for yeah just to lay some more context for those watching arya and i met each other through the school that we went to um you know the sharda residential school and you were two years my junior if i'm not mistaken right because you yeah. were in 10th when yeah. i was in 12th yeah. yeah um so yeah. that's how we know each other but um Yeah like in terms of art and um you know drawing these things was it like in terms of making the transformers designs and stuff what about those designs intrigued you more for me like uh, I don't know like it's just that I don't know how to explain it you know some sometimes gotcha it's it just you know fascinates you something and you're like mm. wow i want i want i want to do my own thing also but just like that like you, you know mm. what i'm saying um, so mm-hmm. uh, then uh, i like that was there my interest was transformers i used to draw those and then uh, there was like a sudden shift for me uh, in my art style like uh, just uh, before i came to sharada i tried doing you know abstract you know not you know no abstract art So for those who I might just not know, my, can you elaborate on what that is? Abstract art is can be anything. It doesn't have to be anything specific. Like okay. uh, if there's a suitcase or if there's a you know fruit on the table, you don't exactly have to copy the same thing on paper. You can m- maybe add designs to and if you're doing like if you're drawing the fruit, we can add designs to the background. Or if you you don't have to do or draw the whole fruit, you can just draw the half fruit and add something else. So basically. abstract art is uh, anything that is not really specific it can be anything what you're putting on paper it doesn't mm-hmm. have to mean anything also you can only in- if you want you can in- or you can let other people interpret it uh, like on in their own thing in their own way and you can interpret it in your own way so that's what abstract art is mm. so yeah as i was saying so that was there was a change of style for me i tried abstract art for the first time and it just uh, what do you say uh, i'm not getting the words oh my god that's okay whatever word comes to your mind yeah so basically it it made me some uh, feel good it was actually mm. like when i looked at it it was really good so then i started making more of um, this kind of art abstract art so then you know me creating drawing those transformers uh, like you know it came down like somewhere whenever i used to you know have a gap or whenever i used to Uh, i don't know in class during class especially uh, if it's a boring class like chemistry or maths to be honest i never like those classes so <laughs> fair so yeah only in those times i used to draw otherwise majorly i used to just focus on abstract styles that's it mm. so yeah mm. you mentioned like haikus and like writing and stuff as well 
Mm-hmm. What do you like? Is there a certain theme that you usually align yourself with, or is it just whatever comes to mind? Whatever comes to mind. Whatever comes mm-hmm. to mind. I am like, if you tell me to write a po- poem or something, I like, I really can't write a poem and all. But sure. I can just uh, imagine scenarios and just write some random lines. And uh, mm. I don't know. Sometimes whenever I feel, I just create some characters in my and just note it down. Like random scenarios, I get. I just note it down. That's it. Mm-hmm. Was there a story or anything that you wrote that you sort of? Okay, maybe this is the overthinker in me showing itself <laughs> in plain sight. Chill, chill, chill. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But my, I guess my question is more so along the lines of: Was there anything that, as you were writing, you were like, "Whoa! Like this is fascinating. I did not. It's not something that I thought." <laughs> would flow out yeah yeah there is actually and uh, one one uh, uh, if you want i can tell it it'll take just like two three minutes i'll that Go one scenario it. i had yeah okay sure so i had this character uh, i have no uh, like uh, name for him so i had created this uh, character and for now he's just on paper so uh, he can teleport stuff he has a power to teleport stuff but he can't teleport himself somewhere or neither can he teleport others he can just send uh, some things to the place he desires by touching physical contact so that was his power this character i created uh, i got this because uh, one of my friend uh, you know like uh, he said if uh, you know i said that uh, i've joined my friend's company animation studio Yeah. So once he had yeah he had asked me to like you know if you have any characters in mind or stories or anything just let me know. So from that day itself, I just got this character in mind, you know, this with his powers and all that. And then he told me, "Cool, this character is really good. Uh, give me a story on it." And uh, I, I like literally had a story in mind. Like, just give me five minutes, and I got the whole story. Like if you want me to tell, I'll tell it. Like. If you want to share it, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. So basically, there's a scene where my character uh, is called a super, and you know, uh, he's in a world where uh, there are normal humans and supers. So basically, you know, superhero cliche that uh, like X Men, uh, humans think that you know supers should die because you know they're not really actual humans and all that. So supers are being hunted, and then. Uh, Uh, he's trying to escape from the you know government or the officers who are trying to kill him and uh, so what he does is uh, he keeps running and on the run on the way he gets two kids like you know uh, he saves two kids because those two kids are also you know supers they have powers but uh, yeah somehow he saves them also and he uh, makes it a mission that he should get them out of the country also so then what happens uh, but uh, eventually the officers catch up to them all three of them and uh, he runs runs and uh, they hit a dead end all those three and they've reached a dead end and but they're way ahead of the officers they're still coming and you know there's still from time to for them to hide and uh, they see an abandoned car it's you know like a what do you say toppled car or something like that it's abandoned and it has got no wheels so what this guy does to these kids is he tells the kids to get in the car and the kids are like getting scared because it's not drive even if it run, uh, the engine turns on it won't run like you know you can't drive it's not drivable so what my character does is he just puts them in the car and uh, he tells them to hold on and since he's never uh, sent anything this big somewhere and since he's never sent any you know living things somewhere he tries too hard way too hard and you know he strains himself and suddenly he touches the car and he sends it somewhere and poof and uh, there because he's used up too much of his energy he's feeling very drowsy and uh, in the end i wanted that character to have a noble ending so the officers catch up to him and shoot him he's dead damn <laughs> and i know i know i know and like i said uh, uh that's not the ending the ending is where sure. he sent them to so uh in 
the next scene i would uh, told my friend that uh, the car would come and crash in front of his mom's home you know his mother so uh, i had a vague your idea friends, where who's from, your friend's mother or the super's mother <laughs> no 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 i was explaining to my friend the story right so i told him yeah yeah the characters so the kids the character teleported to um uh, the character's mother the heroes understand uh, yeah so it crashes in front of the gate and uh, yeah the mother comes and she finds those two kids so somewhere i had this vague idea where uh, she thought she lost her son because he ran away from her home or something but then to redeem himself he just like sends two kids back to her so it's like an emotional uh, what do you say story mm-hmm. i wanted it to be like that so yeah that is my story man mm. <sighs> that's it because- that and all of that you said you did that in like 5 minutes yeah because uh, i i don't know man bro like uh, basically i think i had a little bit influence from x men uh, 97 it's a show if you want uh, okay. i think you've heard of it so i've heard of x men not about the show x men 97 but yeah 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 so the premise was the same you know looking for supers and you know killing them that was the same but then the like character and the thing it was i guess it's mine because nobody has ever uh, explored teleportation like that in that kind of way as per my knowledge mm. Mm. teleportation mm. there's so many characters that can teleport but in this way where only they can only send non living things through physical touch and you know mm. they can't teleport themselves or people so that is i've never seen so i thought I should have one so yeah mm, there's always a first for everything right <laughs> Yeah. That's super cool, dude. That's super cool. Um is this something that you would hope to like try and animate at one point? Yes. Yes, I mm. would love to animate this. Uh but the only thing is uh, I have to learn animation still. I right. still a background designer and uh, my friend is like uh, it'll take some time to establish the uh, you know company and all that. So uh he'll provide us with laptops and uh, when he does that i can just start up because anyway uh, all of us are learning it's not like exactly uh, we've hired all professionals and all uh, in the company uh, we've hired our juniors so from our college so even they are learning so with them even i can learn so yeah that's mm. a basic so everybody sort of learning at the same time how to animate yeah. essentially yeah mm. yeah Are you all having to go to like or take certain courses or like go to school for it or something or is it just like learning from someone in the company? Uh first off uh, my friend itself he knows uh, animation. Hmm. So he teaches us whenever he can whenever we meet up and uh, there are some of the juniors who do like no animation uh, they also teach us we being seniors they teach us right. and uh, Yeah like we at least have 3 to 4 members in the group itself we are like a team of 25 members right now mm. and uh, we have four people who know how to do animation so yeah we they basically teachers and uh, others and you know they learn from youtube youtube is like free you can just go and right. learn anything free education for sure yeah for sure yeah uh so you're sort of doing this on the side with the other job that you have right like is this like a weekend adventure or not an adventure but is it a weekend venture versus that being your weekday job uh yeah that is a definitely the weekday and this is the weekend venture like you said mm 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 does it do you feel like it gets hard juggling the two or are you able to like sort of juggle both of them easily um or smoothly for the most part no it, it yeah it's smooth it's basically smooth because uh, he has told us to just uh, like uh come and come to his room come to his place to work on alternate saturdays at least for me because you know i have only alternate saturdays as holiday so i go there alternate saturdays because i my work as a background designer is uh, i think it's a bit more simpler for now so i can just do it uh, very quickly uh, than the others because the others are working on the character designs and uh, mm. you know the costume design uh, they are more complex so they keep meeting up uh, more frequently than me so i just mm-hmm. go there whenever i get my holidays that is alternate saturdays yeah hmm 
Mm. What about animation interests you? Um, it uh, you can express yourself. You know, if you, for example, you created something and you want to show it to people, and people are not here. You know, patient enough to, you know, listen to what you have to say. But at least mm. seeing, it's very easy. Everybody can understand. So when you show them something, people will be interested, and you know, and it'll be easy to, you know, see like to express, because when listening, not ev- not everybody listens when you're saying anything and you're saying something, mm. but when while watching like a movie, visual visually, everybody will be interested. So, yeah, that way you can get to express freely. Hmm. It's interesting you say that because as you say that, like the thought that sort of triggered in my mind was we're also in an age where, you know, we see something, but then our attention spans are quite low. And I mean, I'm mm. I'm not any better. I my attention span is not that great either. But um, we're used to sort of seeing a lot of things to where that's is what we do yeah. every day is just do this yeah. uh, or without yeah. some scroll so, scroll through Instagram. Scroll. Exactly. Yeah. Scroll, scroll through reels, or for people like in other parts of the world, TikTok or whatever else it may be. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. So, so does that sort of um, add to that in any way, or do you just feel like expressing it visually is just a more? You probably already answered this, but expressing it more visually gives you the opportunity to read a wi- reach a wider audience. Yeah, but uh, yeah, like you said there is that uh, what do you say limitation attention you know uh, span is very short but like you know what can, what what exactly can you do about that anyway right so mm-hmm. in so in the frame like you can only do that much uh, you can only do this much and people who are really interested will see the what you mean right or what you True. created sure uh, we can't we can't force other than that we can't really force others to oh please come watch this come watch this absolutely yeah that's yeah it. yeah that's very true yeah 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 because i mean the reason i'm also thinking of that is as i'm sort of asking you this i wonder if there's anyone who like does animation stories like that are like 60 seconds long do you know uh, uh no not exactly no, no. i don't know gotcha. anybody but I do see lo- like lot of shots of you know, um, what do you say? These uh, comedy shots with cartoons they do, mm-hmm. like uh, YouTube shots. Like most probably, I watch all my uh, if it's anything related to animation, I watch it on YouTube. So I sure. keep uh, do yeah. I see these uh, people making these uh, shots where uh, it's like funny videos with cartoons mm. itself, cartoon characters. Sometimes they're dark jokes. Sometimes they're offensive. <laughs> But yeah, they're they're really cool. I I would like to do something like that, but in some other kind of style, my own kind of style. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, because I mean, I know there's YouTubers out there. I think the one I'm thinking of is Swoozy, S W O O Z I E. I I think there's another one called Odd Ones Out or something. Yeah. Yeah, Odd Ones Out. Yes, yes. Yeah. I guess they make full of. They don't. I don't know if they make shorts because I don't watch their content that content that much. I'm just sort of seen it here yeah, and there yeah. in passing um yeah. but i don't know if they make shorts but they made videos a lot before so i guess yeah, it's basically, that one, right? yeah basically they cut the videos into shorts and just post it that's it okay so they're just yeah. repurposing what they have essentially yeah 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 makes sense makes sense makes sense uh and again i don't know how much you've sort of thought about this or not but i'm intrigued like would you say animation in india has a lot more growing to do or do you think it's a little closer to the standards outside of India? It's a lot more growing to do bro. without any mm. hesitation. I'll say it still has a lot more growing to do. I, I mm. don't know if what people think about this question, but I'll tell it to you that we definitely have a lot more to grow. We have to improve a lot on our, you know, animation. When it comes to that industry, animation, VFX, CGI, all that we still have, a long way to go to better ourselves. Mm, mm, mm. Is there a movie that you've watched where you're like, okay, the, these CGI uh, effects or VFX are 
passable or are are all of them kind of laughable more than passable oh my god have you heard of uh, adipurush yes i've not watched it but i've heard of it yes yeah don't watch it <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah that's uh, def- like when you watch it you'll get to know okay what i was saying was right i now i understand what are you saying you was mm. that oh my god i'm like why 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 oh, mm. just like the, the vfx just makes you regret why did you even come into the theater mm. Mm. well that is yeah yeah you go on No go ahead go ahead go ahead yeah that is like an example of like you know indian movies you know but uh, recently one i watched like referring to hollywood or something is flash obviously so hmm that was very too damn uh, i didn't like it you were disappointed by what they made with flash i was i was very disappointed i wasn't expecting i was expecting something more but no nah. Hmm. Was it specific to like the CGI and the VFX of it all or was it just the story and everything else that came with it? Story I guess it was fine but CGI and VFX uh, and it was I, I was very disappointed. Hmm. 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 I guess there's more expectations out of a production in Hollywood to do better, right? Like in some sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But on the flip side though like the thing that I was thinking about when you were talking about Adi Purush was we sort of have to climb those steps too right where we see those days of movies or pro content made that's like yeah not that great yeah. and then we through those points that we get or through crossing those points is when we get to somewhere that we make something that's quite possible and quite good so yeah um I remember when Raw 1 came out like a lot of people were like ha huh, there's a lot of yeah go ahead go ahead no no I'll yeah go ahead go ahead it's fine go ahead no, go ahead I was just going to say yeah I think a lot of people had complaints about the animation and that as well uh that's what yeah for that time Raw 1 I'm telling you it had the best CGI seriously the VFX was really mm. good for 2011 I was like in 600 right. when it came out and uh for that 2011 oh my god that vfx was spot on it was really good for me at least mm-hmm. mm. mm. would you say that adi purush was a bit of a step down from that oh yes definitely yes like way, oh my god interesting i mean i know like even movies like rrr have like animation and like some sort of yeah. vfx in them right yeah, you watch vfx those yeah I haven't really but I've seen those scenes in these YouTube shows whenever I see them uh, mm. that, especially that tiger uh, uh, yeah. the scene yeah that was also very disappointing it was it wasn't really good mm. and mm. and yeah my mom regrets watching that movie <laughs> <laughs> gotcha gotcha um I don't know I, I guess the thinking the thought that I have is what is it that's lacking in the Indian system in terms of animation other than infrastructure is it just lack of experience or is there more to it than that um how do I answer this uh I feel uh, like there are many points I guess you know because there are people who are interested in animation and then there are people who are not interested in animation sure right uh and then from there we have the people who are interested in animation they want to learn and uh, they want to grow you know they are they want to practice this uh they have the resources like you know the setup and everything you know their courses to do uh and there are people who teach them also but sometimes i guess you know whenever if in case they take up courses uh they really not that good teachers to teach them how to do it how to use the tools and all that and in another point might be where uh, uh, how do i say this so uh, uh, i get, i am not so aware of this but i feel 
um, uh, they don't uh, they think animation is uh, you know what do you say a very low class thing like hmm. I, I don't know how to explain it specifically uh, low class as in it's not like uh, the type of content someone would want to seek uh like an animator or an artist like if somebody would say oh yeah i'm an artist as a, as a job like, yeah as a job exactly so they'll be like uh. oh animator you're an artist okay okay then they'll be like the next question will be what do you do as you know what do you work sure and i'll be like i'm an artist i work as an artist and an animator but still yeah. people will be like they'll ask you what do you work for a job what do you do as for a job so there it like you know answers your question where people uh, still see art as you know not really a go to job still that sure. dilemma is the stigma is there that you know art cannot be a job or art field whatever related to art field cannot be a job that stigma is still there somewhere that's what i feel and uh, one more thing is uh, people people with you know who actually do good animation or they're actually really talented uh they might not have they might have uh, financial issues because sometimes i guess some places you have to bribe you know to have more exposure i don't know maybe like that because you know they say you know you have to step over someone if you have to get more expo- exposure some of the other day you have to step over some so sometimes i guess that is the re- reason but yeah but mm. basically these points come to my mind immediately like when you ask that question Sure, sure. I mean, there's a couple of things to explore there, right? Firstly, I think as a culture, we're still warming up to the idea of the arts as a desirable job. Yes. Because yeah. we've our parents' generation and our grandparents' generation has mostly grown up knowing science as the way to life because that's what yeah. being successful meant. That's what meant. That's what guaranteed food on the table and yeah. all of that sort of stuff. But the arts usually was a one in a thousand who was successful who made good money and all of that so we've generally gone in the direction of making sure to make the safe decisions and the right decisions to sort of keep our i guess financial interests in mind in some yeah. sense yeah. but i think in exactly. the times that we live in now these are all things that are growing even more even in india right like there's a lot of potential for growth and it has to start somewhere so there's definitely money in it it's not to say that there is no money in it but i think it's yeah. partly an education thing which again i am not necessarily blaming parents or grandparents for not understanding that because yeah. if you look at it from their perspective it absolutely makes sense right like yeah they've yeah. struggled and they've slogged uh to do certain yep. jobs to sort of give their kids the best yep. opportunity to go become a doctor or an engineer because that's where life is in yep. again exactly. in their perspective but then here yeah. you are trying to like you know be a clown i i heard this uh, <laughs> be a clown as in like i'm talking about a stand up comedian sort of talking about this um uh-huh. i think it was andrew schultz and akash singh uh they have a podcast called flagrant i don't know if you've heard about it or not but no, um, uh, no. okay yeah but i've i've heard this conversation over there where they're like it completely makes sense why our parents feel like that they were talking in their own context because they've put in a lot of hard work and effort to give us a great life and here we are trying to be clowns um <laughs> you know so that okay. can be a little jarring initially uh in mm. again in that context of like trying to become a stand up comedian and all that sort of stuff yeah. right so i think you can extrapolate that similarly to a lot of other artistic advent uh, artistic sort of ventures and jobs that people pick mm. up so that makes a lot of sense um and the other thing that you said about having to step over someone to get somewhere i yeah. i think that's a very common indian mentality that we have right is that Yep. you can only climb up if you pull someone down yep um sort of mentality which yep. again look i've not lived there for a while now so i don't know if it's prevalent um everywhere but you know i think in especially these fields and again i might be wrong i'm not yep. the most well informed person about these things but i think in some sense we forget that everybody can win in a way I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Right? 
Do you think everybody can win? I know this is a very uh, philosophical tangent here, but do you think everybody can win? Um, in a way, yes, but at the same way, there will always be competition, I guess. Like sure, yeah. So even if there are like two best VFX artists or animators, there will be competition between them. So that can never like you know be stopped. So sure. otherwise, every yeah, everyone can win. You know, they can really become really good animators or really good artists. Anyone can. But right. like you said, uh, you know, it's an Indian mentality to step over someone and to you know, in order to yourself. Yeah. I yeah. feel that is still. I feel that is still there. It's there. Mm. At least to some degree, it is there. Uh, a lot of people might even say, "Oh, it's not there, bro. What you're saying, bro." I'm like, "No, nah, man, it's the truth." I'm telling you, it's the truth. It is there. Mm. Do you think it could die off with our generation, or is that something that will pass on to the future generation as well? Uh, I have a feeling that it might pass on to the future generation also. Mm-hmm. For, for some reason, I don't know. Yeah, for some reason, yeah, sure. I don't know. I it's feel that opinion, yeah. Yeah. So for some reason, I think it will be there for some time at least. At least, well, my lifespan at least till I'm alive, sure. it will be there. So sure. yeah, that I feel it will be there for some time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I um, as we were talking about this, I'm uh, remembering. I think it was. Uh, do you, I mean, uh, it's probably a dumb question to ask, but do you know who uh, Ranveer is or Beer Biceps is? Uh, no, man. No, I don't know. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Um, He's this famous YouTuber in India, this guy who does like podcasts and stuff with a okay. lot of people. You've probably seen him in passing for sure. Potentially. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Um, but anyway, okay. I think he was talking to Priyanka Chopra, who's like the actress who's done a lot of movies here too. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So I think I remember her talking about this sort of mentality of pulling people down um, yeah. while you're trying to climb up and all of that sort of like negative, those negative aspects of like the Indian mm. way of thinking about things. So that was sort of the thought yeah. I had um when we were talking about that but that's unfortunate like yeah. you know i hope that can change for the better but the, but then i think again as you're seeing that like we should be the ones like trying to change it in our personal lives right like where we don't think that yeah. way and then we can yeah. pass it down like you can't get people to yeah. change um because they have to want to change but you can change yeah, yourself exactly um yeah. and sort of go from there and i mean i'm not the best yeah. at it i sound all very <laughs> this but it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> But no, I just, like, in terms of, like, being very honest about it, I think it's sort of that realization of the fact that you can only make changes to yourself in your sort of circle and not yeah, really expect yeah. others to be able to change. If they change, yeah, good, exactly. good for them. But, like, you can't necessarily hold uh, any mm. grudges against them. No, not, not that you yeah. can't hold any grudges against Well, no, you probably shouldn't hold yeah. grudges against people, but uh-huh. uh, that's a different <laughs> argument altogether. Uh, yeah. See, this is the very tangential nature of how this goes, uh, these conversations uh-huh. go. So yeah. we were talking about uh, milkshakes to now we're having this philosophical <laughs> conversation about uh, grudges. So, you know, it's very, and it's very, no, it goes everywhere. No worries, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Good. Yeah, good. Uh-huh. Good. Um, is do you think India could create a DC or a, well, a DC is not a great example, I guess, because no, they've not done that great. But yeah. <laughs> do yeah. you think India could create an equivalent of the Marvel universe? Uh, sure. I really like you know feel that we india has the what do you say capacity to do that we can have, open our own you know comic book superhero universe and all that and it's just that uh, you know like i said uh, uh, first we people have to be like you know uh, what do you say you have to convince people that uh, we are capable of doing that first thing sure As, because trust me i feel that when here mm, you know when we say people that we can do it, there'll always be people who put it on, eh, no, bro, it's not going to happen. Just chuck it. It's not going to work out. Leave it. So, yeah, that's one thing. Second thing is, uh, I guess uh, it's like a continuation of the first point. 
even if it works out and somebody gives you a chance when somebody is giving you a chance like a resources to do it they'll be in the end they'll be like nah it's not going to work out and just give up on it just leave it so i guess that 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 is what how i can explain it because i feel there are a lot of you know uh, talented artists here or you know story writers be it illustrators it's just that they might not be getting exposure like uh, you know uh, uh, what do you say some well known artists like uh, for example i'll give you an example so how instagram art pages are there you obviously you would have seen uh, all of them yeah so now now there are uh, you know a new accounts like if there are any new art accounts somebody has just started their art is amazing you know and uh, like really and only people who know them will obviously notice it and then what happens is uh, they don't uh, like they just started out and some well known artist who's not been doing any content from so many days she'll just copy the same thing and put it on his page so he'll be getting more attention towards because he's already a well well established artist but here you know it's this uh, poor new coming a new comer artist who just started a page she's not gotten any you know she's not that doesn't have any followers or something so that's how i can explain when it happen when it if you take it to the industry like the movie making industry there sure. are uh, there are a lot of people who might be like you know starting a project or anything for an animated movie but you know they might have snitches you know inside the team itself they'll be like mm. uh, collect all the information they'll just go to another company uh, you know uh, what do you say to uh, do that project show them all this they'll do it in their company and when they do it they don't have any rights he might have not signed any legal notices or something so they really can't do anything to him so yeah so i think great kind of, yeah yeah so i think that kind of uh, you know i that will give you a vague idea of how it might ha- you know like what happens if somebody goes to do something like that like you know uh, start a project like that superhero movie project so mm. but i feel the main thing is you know people not believing that will be able to achieve that one thing you'll notice is uh, people will, like you know will say you know oh bro you know our country will make it man one day our country will you know create something equivalent to that don't worry but at the same time those are the people those are the same people if they see some people are trying to make something like that equivalent to mcu they are the ones they are the first ones who will try to break them down no no bro please don't do it it's not going to work <laughs> this is mm. true this is true mm. i mean sure you probably experienced it like because you're there like i so i i mean yeah. i take your word for it but um, yeah, yeah. it's unfortunate right like the fact that you sort of see um i guess people pulling each other down but i guess that's in a weird way that's human nature i think it exists yeah. everywhere like you see that even in social yeah. media right like yeah trolls exactly that's all they do is to sort of yeah. dunk on you and yeah. um say bad things and just yeah anyway yeah it, i guess it's just human nature to the end of the day uh, at the end of the day which can be extrapolated to any other part of the world um yeah but yeah it's it's unfortunate for sure it's unfortunate i'm i, I you mentioned the sort of someone stealing ideas and sort of taking it over to a different place yeah. and yeah. Um, i'm reminded of something that Uh, a similar conversation i was having with another guest previously um who's okay. a fashion designer in dubai and she was saying um it's like at the end of the day you can steal my ideas but you can't steal my brain right i am the one that has the ideas at the end of the day um yeah so i can always make something better and like beat that idea yeah. itself and so sort of yeah. stay on top of things because at the end of the day when someone is trying to steal your content they only know what's outside they don't know what what's inside right what's inside yeah yeah exactly like how the machine works inside they're not necessarily aware of so even if they were to try yeah. to recreate something they probably wouldn't be able to recreate it to the level that you can and maybe even add yeah. more to it so i yeah. think while it sucks that people steal i think it's something that you can't control directly right like you can do some yeah. things to avoid people from stealing but then yeah. some things you just 
they're out of your control yeah so yeah you know at the end of the day uh and it's not it's easy to, it's easier said than done but i guess you have to make your peace with the fact that yeah shit like that would happen um yeah. but it i would i'd love to see like something to the equivalent of like an mcu and not like in a parody way because i think that's the yeah. other thing that might happen right like is people in india might itself will be like oh this is such a parody of the mcu and like yeah. um yep. they lack the creativity to make something of its own of their own and yada 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 um so yep. it's not to say that there is no winning there absolutely uh is a way to win and that could be a stepping stone in some sense um where people yeah. could make that and then make something better out of it absolutely absolutely yeah. um is there anything like if you had the opportunity to sit down with an animator that you follow hmm. um or an animator whose work you admire who would that be and what would you want to talk to them about animator uh, when you say animator or artist i'm just- artist okay so artist uh who do i say for me i really don't have like any like uh, what do you say favorite artist or anything like that i i am that kind of artist where you know if i like look at a thing if i get an idea or a design for it i just take it from you know whatever things are there inside like beside me or whatever i see outside but gotcha uh, if you like really want me to say one artist like you know at least some of the other idea that i got from them yeah just to pick their yes. brains even like they don't have to be yeah. your favorite but whose brains would you like to pick um salvador dali okay you're going to have to tell me who that is <laughs> so even like yeah obviously uh, basically i don't uh, he's a very famous uh, artist okay and uh, trust me even i haven't studied a lot about him i have sure. seen his works yeah so his works i have seen and uh, they were really good his works are he's famous for his works and uh, especially his the way he, uh, his style you know his specific style uh, I, i like i always loved it you know those those work as like his works are like that i always mm. uh, you know at least at, i think two times at least two or three times i've taken inspiration from one of his works Mm. uh i think it's the one with somewhere with horses or something i don't remember clearly but yeah uh, if, when it comes to that it's uh, his works that's it gotcha um mm. is he in it is he a spanish artist yeah okay i think Salvador i found him dali on... yeah okay <laughs> d cool. d a l i got it okay okay i'll i'll yeah. put up a picture of his or something or like some of his artwork uh, in the video yeah, version sure, of this sure. so for those sure, of you sure. listening to this uh, you can watch this video on youtube or on spotify as well um to check out the graphics that come up but yeah like it's that inspiration and that fascination of like what other people do that is, that also helps fuel yeah. a lot of your own interest right like yeah um i sense that even with this for me like i watch a few podcasts here and there and like you know there's a lot of ideas where I, i'm like oh cool maybe i need to sort of like try and incorporate that in a way and sort of tweak it and make it my own and sure i think at some point you get to you get to a place where you make something that's of your own instead of building off of something someone else yeah made yeah but i think that's part of the learning journey right like that's part of the experience yeah. of like figuring things out and learning things and um yeah. understanding the things yeah. that exist and how yeah. you could potentially make it in your image um yeah in the best way possible um but yeah dude this was great i mean i've i've enjoyed having this conversation um so on me too on me too is there anything you would like to share or like to plug as we sort of bring this to a close um I don't know man I I guess I have to thank you that's the first thing uh you don't have to thank me if you don't want to <laughs> No <laughs> No okay okay fine uh thank you for uh, calling me to this uh because Absolutely. nobody's ever called 
uh, nobody has ever called me to one of these things and this is my first time and uh, it's uh, i'm still nervous bro <laughs> it's okay you don't have to be i mean i can understand it okay i shouldn't be saying you don't have to be because it's your first time so i can understand yeah. the nerves um so but it's okay I'll, you've done great yeah, to just share whatever yeah. you want to share as we sort of bring this to a close uh, uh yeah so thank you for uh, bringing me to this and uh, i guess making me famous <laughs> <laughs> god willing one day knock on wood knock on one um uh, but yeah dude, thank uh, you no i appreciate you being open to it cuz i know like it can be a very daunting idea to sort of put yourself out there on the internet so yeah thank you for being open to it and for like just sharing yeah, everything i love the way you sort of talked about uh, your interest you. in like um the sort of starting off with like your curiosity with transformers and like abstract is, yeah. art sharing your story um Yeah, so thank you so much for sharing everything Ari. I really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, totally, totally, dude, totally. Uh yeah, for those of you listening and watching, uh thank you so much for joining us and yeah, check out the things that we've talked about. Um do you want people to follow you on social if they do want to? Sure, why not? I'll uh, okay. put my art page if you want. I'll just send it to you the link. I'll link it in the yeah, I'll link it in the description yeah. or the show notes of this if anybody wants yeah. to follow and check out Arya and his work, please do so. Uh, but yeah thank you so much for joining us we will see you guys next time adios